I do eat pasta every day. Here will almost be impossible to not do it. I have too much pasta around me, it's too tempting. I love pasta. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Ruben Rapetti. I'm one of the executive chefs at Vetroni Group. Today we're at Spaccio East where I'm going to teach you everything about Italian pasta. I'm Italian. I've always been around food from when I was a child and especially on a Sunday with my grandma. We were always used to make fresh pasta together. I learned how to do pasta properly and professionally at Alma, the sister school of George Brown College in Italy and today we are going to, to have some fun. So in Italy we have uh, so many different kinds of, uh, of pasta. The shapes are like so many. Some are with eggs, some are like simple with flour and water. The main difference that we say that we can use to categorize pasta is pasta fresca, that is fresh pasta, and pasta secca, that is uh, a dry pasta. Today we also have like two different kinds of pasta, uh, one done with soft wheat, and one done with hard durum wheat. And that uh, gives a different texture and the different feelings to the pasta. Today we're going to make spaghetti alla chitarra. Uh, that is a traditional pasta from uh, Abruzzo made with semolina flour and eggs. We're going to use this uh, tool that is called uh, chitarra, so guitar in Italian. And uh, this recipe goes really well with cacio e pepe that we're going to make today. So now it's time to have some fun making the spaghetti alla chitarra. So here I have my, my dough. It's uh, Im important to keep your dough always under a wet cloth so it doesn't dry and it's easier to, to work. What is important making spaghetti alla chitarra is to have the right thickness. You don't want a pasta that is uh, too thick. If not, it will be very difficult to cut through the guitar. Now I have my dough ready and I'll just pass the dough through the cable of the machine. This is in, uh, one of my favorite type of pasta. It goes well with everything, especially with cacio e pepe. That is probably my favorite pasta. E voilà, spaghetti alla chitarra. Cacio e pepe in Italian means cheese and pepper and uh, those are the main ingredients of the pasta. Uh, we use Pecorino Romano, that is, is a sheep cheese quite sharp from, uh, from Rome. We use uh, black pepper and we use spaghetti alla chitarra, that is like one of the traditional shape of, uh, of the pasta. Here at uh, Spaccio we bring the, the cheese directly from Italy and the smell is just amazing. You can, you can really uh, see the difference in a pasta. Okay, so now I'm uh, dropping my spaghetti alla chitarra in boiling water. 10 gram of salt every liter of water. So here I have my pan where I start to add some water and my pepper. So that will be the base of my cacio e pepe. I can really smell it. You honestly smell amazing. I'm adding my pasta to the pan. So now my pasta, it's a little uh, cooler in temperature. I have my cheese very fine grated cheese and I'll start to add and create an emulsion. You honestly smell amazing. So I want a little more cream around my pasta so what I do I add a little bit of pasta water a little bit of cheese ecco qua is ready perfect now it's time to plate. Okay some of the sauce and ecco qua la cacio e pepe di Terroni. To learn more, check out the Italian Culinary Arts Postgraduate Program at George Brown College. Bellissimo. Uh, I actually like craft dinner. I don't eat it often, but you know, as a particular taste.